Gentlemen and ladies, welcome to the latest episode of BAA, Bell Art Attractions, featuring Blue Gloves Features and myself. Uh, I'm Nella, I'm your new host, uh, taking over from Milica this week only because she's away. Or maybe forever, you never know. No, I'm kidding, she'll be back. Uh, BAA is your go-to guide for the latest attractions, events, art happenings, music, uh, music events and everything else going on in Belgrade every single week. Now, before we get going, I would like you to please hit the subscribe button, do it now, and keep up to date with all the latest events. If you would like to be featured on our show or send us some kind words, do hit us up on bellartattractions at gmail.com or our bro channel belgradeartnews at gmail.com. If you like what you see, please hit the thumbs up button. Uh, let us know in the comments what you liked. If there's something you don't like, do hit the thumbs down button, but I wouldn't recommend it. And subscribe. Now let's get into the events that are happening this week. Do you want to try something new, something fun, something that you've probably never tried before in Belgrade or anywhere else? Something that uh, our friend from the show, Nikki Foss, shout out to you girl, describes as letting go of control, trusting and being in the moment, then Shibaru is for you. It's the art of Japanese rope bondage, and it sounds like so much fun. There's a brand new studio called Rope Berry that's just opened up in Belgrade. Go check them out. Click the link to their Facebook page and go have some fun. If you love art as much as I love art, and trust me, I'm gonna be spending my entire weekend at this event, you, you don't want to miss this. Uh, Boji Darat and Street Art Belgrade is hosting the second weekend of street art in Vrachar. Uh, this is happening from the 2nd of October, so on Friday until the 4th of October, the entire weekend. And it's at the Boji Darat Center on Radoslava Gruitsa 3. Now, the aim of the whole weekend is to bring the general public closer to art. So I really recommend that you bring the kids to this event and, and start them young, you know, just don't, don't let them touch. Um, there will be a series of workshops, lectures, outdoor walks and exhibitions happening uh, throughout the whole weekend. But what we want to draw your attention to is the Kale Libre Festival. Um, from Vienna, which is happening on the 3rd of October at 6 p.m. Now, this is the presentation of one of the largest art festivals, street art festivals in Europe, and it's supported by the Aus Austrian Culture Forum, Austrian Embassy, and the Ministry of Culture. And the best part is that the presentation will be in English. Now, you want to book your place to this as soon as possible, because we've heard from a trusted source that some workshops will be discontinuing their lists tonight so get on it and and i know that that was a mouthful but uh don't worry hopefully the next one will be shorter i'll i'll have a, a chat to production about the script speaking of so is is this a friend or <laughs> oh apparently it's their old friend Bife Ventil on Kapetan Mishina 14 and they're doing a screening of this uh, anime uh, adventure fantasy film called Your Name. No, 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 the name of the film is Your Name. Anyway, it's this typical story, you know, he was a boy, she was a girl, but they live cities apart and randomly switch bodies and, and apparently according to our writer, but who can trust her, it's not your average, typical body switching story. I would go watch it myself. Uh, don't, don't, don't trust her. I would go watch it myself. It's on at 6 p.m. tonight. Admission is free, but spaces are limited. And it's a first come, first served thing. So I'd get there early, have a couple of drinks, chill out. Uh, it's uh, dubbed in English but the subtitles are in Serbian. Let's see, my script says English dub with Serbian subs. 
Um, moving on, the next item on our film agenda is the Plan B Film Festival Part 3, which is taking place this Saturday in Dom Omladina's American Hall on Makedonska 22. Um, there'll be three films screened this Saturday and what's really great about this is that the writers the filmmakers the filmmakers will be there to discuss their films afterwards so it's going to be super exciting this is a celebration of the fil first filmmakers from the workshop of Atelier Varan now there are 11 films in total in this film festival but they're spread out over a couple of weeks which is great so this installment is this Saturday the next installment will be on October 10th so do do keep your eyes peeled for this one it's very exciting uh, admission is free but don't go without your masks i have mine so i can go i can go i'm going bye bye oh it's on saturday oh bunch okay let's carry on Welcome to my favorite part of the show, theater. Let's check out what's going on in the theater scene in Belgrade this week. Obichno Vece, a usual evening, is on tonight at 8 p.m. at Akademia 20 Awesome on Nemanina 28. What makes this show fantastic and, and a must-see is because it's been running for 30 years. I mean, that's almost as giving away my age again but but this man this one man has been doing the same show for three decades it is in Serbian but do go check it out it's 1000 to 1200 dinars a ticket 8 p.m tonight be there trust me you want to see why it's been making audiences laugh for this long next on the agenda on the 3rd of October we have at Pozorište Slavia on Svetok Save 16 to 18 a love and Padegia, happening at 8 p.m. This is a romantic comedy about a French guy who tries to, oh bless him, he tries to learn Serbian and it tackles the two most complicated subjects in the world, love and Padegi. Great thing about the show, two thirds in English, so you'll probably understand it because only one third is in Serbian. Go check it out. Uh, on the 4th of October at Akud Branko Krismanovic, Balkanska 4, we have uh, one, another one-man show called Pušenje je štetno pozdravlju, which means smoking is harmful to your health. And it's about this guy who comes to give a lecture about how harmful smoking is to Serbians. Oh. Anyway. It, it just doesn't go his way. You want to check it out. It's 300 dinars a ticket. And finally, ladies, you really want to see the show. It is in Serbian, but take a Serbian friend to translate. It's called Zašto i kako obiti moža. Why and how to kill your husband. A step-by-step -step guide. Happening at Akademia 20 Osam, Nemenina 28. Like I said, on the 4th of October at 8 p.m., Trust me, for 800 dinars a ticket, you don't want to miss this. That's it for the show. I'm so sad. But let us know what shows you have seen, what shows you want to see, what shows you loved, what shows you didn't love in the comments below. Hit the subscribe button to get us in your inbox every single week. And if you want your show featured on BAA, email us at bellartattractions at gmail.com or the bro channel at belgradeartnews at gmail.com. And, and that's it from me, your host, Nella, and the rest of us here at BAA. Bye.